Hi friends, it is Mrs. Haddad from Great Hearts Athenaeum at Northern Oaks. I hope you are doing well. I have a really fun lesson for you today and I am excited to share it with you. But I want to ask you a question first. When you think about fighting a war, what weapons come to mind? Right now the world is fighting a war against tiny unseen enemies, germs. Let's take a moment to think about all the amazing things our bodies can do. We breathe, we digest food, we move, we think, and so much more. However, sometimes there are tiny organisms that try and invade our bodies. These organisms are called germs. We call them microorganisms because they are so small that they can only be seen with a microscope. Not only are they tiny, but they are everywhere. There are different kinds of germs and different germs cause different problems. These little bugs look cute, but they are anything but friendly. Bacteria cause infections like ear infections or sore throats. Viruses give us colds and flus. Protozoa give us tummy bugs. And fungi cause problems like warts and athlete's foot. Unfortunately, all of these germs can spread very easily from person to person by the things we touch, by sneezes, and even by friendly handshakes and hugs. Think of everything you've touched today. Can you name some things you've touched? Just to make this video, I have touched my phone, my computer, my desk, the mouse on my desk. I've touched a lot of things. We touched door handles, faucets, refrigerators, toilets, to toys, televisions, computers, and the list goes on and on and on. With so many germs around, it feels like the battle we could never win. That would be bad news. But wait, that is not the case at all. I have good news. We have some very powerful weapons to fight this war against germs. We can build up a healthy immune system by getting a lot of sleep and eating healthy foods and moving our bodies as often as possible. Another weapon in our battle against germs is washing your hands. Washing your hands is like putting on armor. You have heard your mom and dad and grandma and grandpa and teachers and at the name directions and big brothers and sisters say it a million times. Wash your hands and use soap. They must really love you to give you such good advice. One of the best things you can do to protect yourself from germs is good old fashioned soap and hot water. Here's why. I'm gonna show you a demonstration. So here's some water I've put in a jar. Can you see the water? Okay, I'm gonna add some oil into this jar. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen. And I want you to tell me what you notice. What do you notice? The oil and the water are separate. Oil and water don't mix. Your skin is made up of oils. Germs stick to the oils on your skin since oil and water don't mix. What do you suppose would happen to those germs if you just rinsed your hands with water? Nothing. That's what the germs would stay on your skin. Watch what happens if I put just a few drops of liquid soap in my jar and give it a good shake. Little drops. Okay, I'm gonna shake it up. You can see that the oil and the water have now combined. The molecules in soap have two very different ends. One end of the soap, hydrophilic. Do you know what hydro means? It refers to water. Philic is like the Greek word philos, which means love. So one end of the soap molecule loves water. The other end of the soap is hydrophobic. To have a phobia means to be afraid or repelled by something. The hydrophobic ends of the molecule attached to the oils. That's the germs. This allows the bad and nasty germs to be washed away when your hands are rinsed. Goodbyes aren't always easy, but saying goodbye to these germs is easy, and it's something you need to do as often as you can. Can you think of especially good times to wash your hands? Maybe before eating or after using the bathroom or playing outside, maybe after you cough or sneeze? To really do a good job, you should wash with soap for 20 seconds or more. To help, sing a song while you wash. I like to sing happy birthday two times through while I wash my hands. I think you should go practice right now. If you want an extra excuse to wash your hands, you can get them good and dirty 
with some finger painting first. Grab a piece of paper and some finger prints and copy the germs we looked at earlier and then wash your hands. If you don't have any finger paints, there's an easy recipe in the description box in the video. Send me a picture of your picture and I'll share it with your friends. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.